My husband expected me to be the perfect first lady. I tried. Oh, Lord knows I tried. But I laughed too loudly. Oftentimes I, I let my real feelings show. Well, of course I have my own ideas. But as a woman, it's, it's not my place to offer an opinion. Well, especially not on politics or governing. A good wife helps her husband regardless of her own beliefs. Although sometimes it happens, I start talking and I cannot hold my tongue. <laughs> my words just pop out, unbidden. <laughs> Only my sense of duty to my husband kept me from going quite wild. And, and duty to my children, of course. I had to keep my wits about me for them. Please, tell me about your children, ma'am. Six, they were. Well, now only four, since little Sammy died of the measles. Only two years old. And, and our Joey was six. Fallen from the top balcony of the Confederate White House. It's a horrid sort of maze I live in. Just one disaster after another. My condolences, ma'am. No, no, I, I, I'm not asking for pity. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. No. Eight babies you took, no more. Oh, dear Lord, please forgive me. Just to think it nearly stops my heart's vibration. Mrs. Davis? Mrs. Davis? <laughs> Pardon me. I must not allow myself to think about that. May I offer you some more tea? 